Hi everyone, I'm Vicki Murphy. I'm a Geraline Specialist with Valiantis, which is a Platinum Solutions partner with Atlassian. In this video, I'll be breaking down the updates to Jira Align with the release of version 11.4. This was released to all test environments on September 27th, 2024, and it will be released to production instances on October 11th, 2024. With that, let's go ahead and jump in. With this release, admins will now have the option to have their users log into Jira Align using their Atlassian account. This will be available for organizations on Jira Align cloud instances that also have a subscription to Atlassian Guard. If you aren't familiar with Guard, it's another Atlassian product that provides a single source for connecting your authentication with your SAML SSO provider and also offers a two-factor authentication option. If you are on Jira Line Cloud and have Atlassian Guard, uh, an admin can connect those two instances by going to the admin settings, onto the platform tab, uh, page, and to the security tab. You may notice that several of these settings as well as the options available in the settings have been updated with this new choice, but we are specifically interested in the authentication um, dropdown. A new option available here is now the Atlassian Guard option. Once you enable this, users will be directed to log in through id.atlassian.com. That looks a little something like this. If your users are already using Jira Cloud or Confluence Cloud, this will likely look very familiar to them. Do note that Jira Line currently only allows for one authentication method. So uh, if you do choose Guard, you will not be able to utilize the manual sign-in or the standalone SSO options. Uh, so do take any uh, appropriate security precautions with that in mind. Once Guard is selected, a second setting will appear titled Auto Populate Atlassian Account ID. This setting will match the Atlassian Account ID or AAID to the external ID field in a user's account in Jira Align with the Atlassian account in Atlassian Identity. By default, the AAID is set to auto-populate the first time a user logs into Jira Align and authenticates with Atlassian Guard. Once you've made your appropriate selections here, you can press Save Settings. This is a great update that we expect will help simplify the administration of Jira Align, as well as increase the security of the system, as those connected to Guard will be able to leverage the new security settings uh, as they are released to Guard. Uh, a couple of examples of the security settings that you'll be able to utilize from Guard. Jira Align will now enforce the session timeout durations configured in your Atlassian Guard subscription, aligning Jira Align to the rest of your Atlassian ecosystem. And another good example is that with Atlassian Guard connected, you will be able to have the option to use Atlassian API tokens to authenticate with the Jira Align APIs. You can create an API token through your Atlassian account. There's full instructions linked in the release notes for you. Atlassian does recommend switching to Atlassian API tokens from the Jira Align API tokens, so you can take advantage of uh, more security features with Atlassian API tokens, such as revoking and blocking token access, and also new features as they are rolled out. Next, let's take a look at um, another update in the admin settings, this time on the Jira uh, settings page. With this release, our change logs will now display task and defect sync errors between Jira and Jira Align. This uh, from the uh, JIRA settings page, we want to stay on the Manage Projects tab, and from here we can press View Logs. And any uh, task and defect syncing errors will display like this example. Next, let's jump over to our objectives. We can now visualize and use the blocked and corresponding blocked reasons field on the new details panel of objectives. On your objectives, when you are using the new details panel view, which is what I have here, uh, if you have not changed to this view, you likely have a uh, blue or purple bar at the top suggesting that you toggle to it. Uh, but once you do, on the right-hand side, we will now have this blocked field. This has two options, no and yes. When yes is selected, a blocked reasons field will display. This is a text field with 2000 character limit, uh, and it will also be automatically required whenever you select yes for blocked. 
Uh, this field is also available on the legacy view and any uh, updates to the field will sync between the two views. If you don't currently utilize this field and would like to, an admin can enable it under the uh, details panel settings for objectives. We'll cover the rest of the updates in the slides, starting off with some coming soon updates for future releases. In the next version, 11.5, currently scheduled for October 25th, 2024, Atlassian will be removing over 40 pages and functions that are no longer supported in JIRA Align. This is following the announcement of end of support for this functionality earlier this year. The full list is available in the release notes, but the functions that I have listed on the slide here are some that we have seen customers exploring over the last couple of years. If you have not already, I do recommend starting any change management activities regarding the removal of these functions uh, if your organization utilizes them, starting with updating your end users and uh, also potentially exploring any uh, potential replacement solutions in the Atlassian ecosystem. And Lassian also identified seven additional pages and functions that will uh, still be removed, but in a release after version 11.5, they have not identified a specific removal date yet. Uh, they said that they will uh, send notice via the release notes again once a date has been selected. So again, any change management activities around these, uh, I recommend you begin uh, uh, soon. The planned replacement for the legacy capacity-based widgets and calculations in the program room has been pushed back one release, also to version 11.5, again scheduled for late October 2024. As a reminder, this update uh, will... Uh, as a reminder, with this update, the capacity information in the program room will begin to rely on the forecast and capacity plans from the corresponding modules in JIRA Align. Users in the program room will begin to see the forecast capacity widget, which you see an example of here on the slide, and all capacity calculations will begin to reference that capacity and forecast plan. This will effectively remove any legacy calculations as well as the program PI load estimated view and the ability to override the program PI velocity. Couple more updates with this release. Uh, first, the planned uh, replacement of the Milestones API endpoint has been paused until further notice as Atlassian works to better understand customers' needs for migration of this endpoint, as well as the overall use of the current objectives endpoint. You can read more about the planned updates in the release notes. Uh, we also have a minor but very impactful update to our epics in the additional programs field on uh, the out of the box epics uh, tier or work item. You may have renamed this to something like initiative, um, but at that uh, work item level, the additional programs field will now have a character limit of 4000 characters. This is an improvement on the uh, legacy 1000 character limit. Uh, we do expect that this will help accommodate organizations who need to add large lists of programs to to their epics. And lastly, Atlassian has made several accessibility enhancements through Node.js and ADS upgrades. These updates were purely visual, such as increasing contrast, font size, and highlights. These have had no impact to the logic calculations or general use of Jira Align. A couple examples that Atlassian mentioned, increasing the font size and dropdowns, such as the PI selector in the side navigation panel, and increasing the contrast and uh, selection highlight in the sidebar links and some dropdowns, as you see an example of on the slide here. That is all for the release of version 11.4 to JIRA Line. If you want to read more about these feature updates or any of the defect fixes in this release, the release notes are linked for you in the description of this video. Thank you very much for watching and good luck on your JIRA Line journey.